What's up guys, Polly Popo here. Thank you very much for coming to the channel. What we're gonna do today is hook up three different MPCs, an MPC Key 61, MPC Live, and an MPC X. And we're gonna be using Ableton Link, running Wi-Fi off a cell phone or your private network at home. It's just important to be able to sync up all three because if I have three MPCs, I need them all to be able to go off at the same time. So we're basically taking three tape players and going to be able to push play at random parts and they're all going to be able to keep the flow of the music. I'm going to show you how to set it up. It's really easy. And I just learned that the Denon DJ Prime 4 Plus has Ableton Link also. So I can run this song through to it, add to it, and it's just a good way to bounce back and forth and keep a groove going. So I'm going to show you that real quick. So just check it out. All right. So you can see right here, the sequence is going like that. If it's not, you'll hit menu and go to your preferences. You'll go to your Wi-Fi, turn on your Wi-Fi. After you turn on your Wi-Fi, while you're still in your browse, go up here to the link. And then you'll have to select it. Right now it says off, MIDI clock, MTC, Ableton link. It's going to say Ableton link. Let's go over to the keys real quick. All right, so now we go over here. Same thing, we're just gonna hit menu. See, there's nothing up there. We're gonna hit menu. Preferences, go to your Wi Fi, make sure you're connected to your internet. Go up here. It should say off MIDI clock MTC Ableton link. It says three links, right? Three links. Let's go over to the MPCX real quick. Same thing here. We're going to hit menu or browse. My, I apologize. We're going to hit menu. And oh, right here, it says three links. Just make sure it's on Ableton. So now all three MPCs are linked up. And what's, like I say, what's dope is they're on the internal clock. What's up with this thing? So my point is, it's going to be in time at 120 beats per minute. If I change this BPM, it's going to change the BPM on the Denon. It's going to change the BPM on the live and on the keys. So it's a great way to use this. Like for me to use these sounds over here, the X is controlling everything over here. And then my live is across the room so it's like a person can play right here and then I can move across the room and play it's just a good way to use what you got at its advantage you know the Ableton link and standalone is super super dope so if you guys like this kind of stuff and you want me to get into more detail about it um, this is how I use my MPCX I have it hooked up with these CV cables out the back I used to have a, a MIDI keyboard a sledge that I used to control with it but my sledge didn't make it so now I just use the MPC to sequence out every single one of these these are my plugins this would be tube synth that would be hype that would be my OPX there's these are my special plugins it's my own synth I got tired of buying synthesizers and having only like three or four sounds that I could turn to this thing here you can make bad sounds you can make good sounds is just how you put sounds into keyboards they use this so that Pittsburgh modular life forms Evo um, kit pretty much and then I added the elements and some other sequencers and granulators and stuff like that now as far as the neutron and all that if I hit this button it's not just I got it on CV so each one of these controls something else on here these sounds do not play so what's really really dope and let me show you guys something real quick here 
Let's go like this. And let's say we like that sound, right? We're going to sample this sound. I'm going to point you guys over here real quick. I want to show you guys how to make a key group out of that sound, and then we're going to wrap this up. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys how to use Ableton Link in standalone mode because I know a lot of people have more than one MPC. Okay, so... Go to here. We'll turn this down, turn the brightness up a little space down the chorus. A little more mallet, less timber, and some blow. I sampled that into my SP or my uh, MPC. Went through all of that stuff into my live here. Let's edit it. Come on now. Edit that bad boy. Look at that sound. Should have went in there. I don't know. It was dope. Okay, let's use it. We made that, right? Alright, so we made that sound. So that's super dope. So now... We assign Pad A1, do it. Main. You see the sounds here? Oh man, that sounds hot. It sounds good. If I, I've just, I'm excited because it's taken me a long time to be able to hook that up. Uh, let's see here. Meaning I was just going into one little mixer out of headphone. I'm going into a, a big mixer out, big inputs or outputs. So it's dope. We got our sound, we're gonna hit menu, program edit. Okay, it looks like that. Hit that keyboard, bam. That's it. Let's see what that does. Jeesh. Turn this down here. See what this does. Just come in hot. All right, ready? It's dope. And our second sound. Of course, on the keyboard, when you have your NPC keys, you can play all the way across the whole bad memo gemma. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you just hit that freaking menu program edit keyboard, blah blah blah. Okay, gotcha. And it's in there. Now you can play across the whole, I believe, 61 keys. It's the way they got it set up. I mean, I'm all the way in H and then A. Ugh. That is ridiculous. Rish. Rish. Whoosh. But yeah, so I showed you two things today. How to use the Ableton link. Which is really, really cool to say I wanted this to play just my drums. I just wanted to trigger the... Let's do it. I'm going to... Two, three, four. Let's just do two bars. Just for the sake of the video. Let's just do one. Okay. Got that going right. That's the X. Let's get the live going. See, it's in sync. Watch. Tick. Tick.
Cool. Let's go to the keys. Same thing over here. And I got different bar lengths. The X is going at one bar, this is going at two bars, and this will be at four. Because you just follow the X. Boom, 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 boom. Crazy, right? What I'm saying now, I hit stop here. I hit play, it waits. This is dope, so now I got. Eight, six, I got 24 tracks that I can mute in and out and when you go into song arrangement you got three of those doing it it gives you a whole bunch of more stuff but this is dope we know that all three of those are playing right the X the live the keys that's what we did so watch if I have a song playing on here also which I'm not going to I don't need to I'm gonna show you three. That's enough. I don't need to show you four. You just have to take my word on it. When I speed up the BPM on here, since they're linked, everybody's linked. That's the live and the keys. I just think that that's super dope to be able to control all your other stuff now. And I thought I would share that. But yeah, we made a couple sounds. Super dope. Good stuff. Finally got everything hooked up. Now I can get this hooked up into there and... Little by little, guys. Right on, guys. I'm Polly Popo. I thought that was fun, a little bit random, and a little informative if you guys hung out. I thought it was dope. I, uh, yeah, showed a few things on there, you know, and then I got to hang out on top of that. So it was super dope for me. Hopefully, it was dope for you. Uh, I'm going to cut it here, and I will see you guys hopefully later on this week.